and it can happen some thoughts or thought patterns have the same function in the human mind in many cases as a virus has in the body a virus can proliferate and takes over the body and so there are many mental viruses that people get taken over by and can't get rid of sometimes you have that virus the whole lifetime for persistent deep-seated negative thoughts that occupy either your entire mind or a particular section of your mind and sometimes the virus that can take over can take over co collectively an entire collective entity of human beings be it a nation or a tribe or a religion or a section within a religion uh, it can be a political movement that suddenly has all the answers and knows who where the enemies are let's do a meditation to help to stop thinking to stop thinking the kind of negative thoughts because today i had an idea that the negative thoughts are like fleas mm, they reproduce so easily and yet positive thoughts are like butterflies there our positive thoughts are you know we make we make an idea and we have a positive thought and it takes a little bit more creative energy from our body to create positive thinking. And this is why our health and our diet, our breathing and meditation practices are so important because we need energy in our body. You know, also our, our erotic energy, our sexual energy is, are we respecting that energy in our body as well? So that it creates the necessary force so that we can do a meditation where we stop that thinking reproducing these you know thoughts that are like fleas that just come up all over the place <laughs> and because when our mindset drops into this kind of um, ruminating negative navigating the the world and usually when this happens it's because we're thinking outside ourselves and we're not focusing on our inner world we're only seeing the outer world and our mind is criticizing our mind is analyzing our mind is focused on what we can't control we can't change so you the first when i talked to a zen monk i happened to see a zen monk and he we talked a bit about spirituality and zen uh, and he said quite simply um well he said well, zen is really quite simple it's um, you stop thinking I had expected a, a more complicated answer, but, but then I realized that's actually happened to me. I stopped thinking, especially overthinking. I could still think, and start, some thinking, of course, still happened, but there were long stretches, but there was just a very peaceful awareness. And there was, a, and then what was kind of building up was, out of that awareness came a deep joy. So I think before I do the meditation today, which will be day four of our seven day meditation challenge. So please, I'll put the link for that video in the description here as well. I think I'll, I'll do my video today about how to stop thinking and, and then we'll do a meditation to add on to it because um, it's not that you're gonna stop actually not thinking because that's almost an impossible thing to do. But maybe let's think of it more as to stop allowing those ruminating negative mental thoughts that just seem to come in and overtake our, our mind. And then they start reproducing like, like Eckhart Tolle says in his video about thinking about positive thoughts and negative thoughts. He said that the negative thoughts were like virus viruses because they just keep coming up and they keep reproducing and i think we could even take that one step further not only are the negative thoughts like viruses um 
it's you know they reproduce like a virus but they also affect they affect others like a virus as well because when you're around other people that have a negative mindset or a negative vibe it's harder even you need even more strength of character and more personality and more of your own creative positive energy positive mindset to to start and change those negative thoughts and say i'm going to consciously think positive things i'm going to start creating with my mind and doing that step takes it's like turning on the light bulb and remember it's the same thing that i was talking about negative energy it's the same thing when we recognize negative energy as an entity in itself it's like giving power to something that doesn't exist and it's the same our negative thoughts don't really exist either because they're just thoughts that just kind of come through the ether of the of the human radio wave patterns around us and then we find ourselves thinking these negative and uh, oh look at what he's doing oh my god they forgot to do this oh crap Look at that person. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it just oh, it just all comes in, and it's just a whole real nasty. <laughs> and we know that we all have this situation. So, what does it take from ourselves inside ourselves? And this is where one more time, I want to teach people to take the connection of the earthy female creative energy, which is the mother energy. It's the creative source. It's the dense and the reproductive energy of the body. It's our sexual energy. It's our erotic, abundant energy. And that's where this concept comes in one more time. So before I started this video, I went to my honey and I said, to him, honey, I'm going to close the door and make my video just so you know. We had been struggling this morning because several things happened. It wasn't so great. He's kind of in a funk. So I went over to him and I climbed on top of him and I said, hey, I said, have you ever thought that negative thoughts are like fleas and they just oh, start, and he started laughing and I started tickling him and then I gave him a hug and I said, look, I said, the positive thought is just like this energy I came to share with you right now and it's like a beautiful butterfly. And I said, I started giving him a kiss and then we generated this really cool vibe between both of us and our energy just changed automatically and then now I'm in the frequency to make the video. And you don't need to have a partner who understands how to generate that vibration with you. You can generate that vibration just with, within yourself and breathe it up into your body. And wow, you just went from being kind of tired and depressed and a little bit negative mindset and, and uh, unmotivated and just really just kind of like hanging out on that negative vibe to becoming positive, inspired, motivated, and where did that energy come from? You know? And he actually got up out of bed, he came over, he gave me a kiss. And thankful he doesn't speak a lot of English, so I don't think it matters that I'm sharing this little tidbit in the video. I mean, personal life, it's nothing really personal. But we need to have that kind of relationship with ourselves and with our loved ones. You know, even with our children, you know, these, you can create that creative vibe, you know, when a mother and a father in the family has a loving, playful, erotic relationship. That energy also helps and gives energy to the children of the family. And they learn. They learn from watching their parents that those are healthy interactions of affection and love and human sexuality, creation, human creation. So if you're having trouble, getting over a negative funk or stopping those those virus thoughts or those fleas from just reproducing in your mind find a way to ground yourself breathe in and incorporate a little bit of your of your erotic sensual energy into that moment and you will be amazed how then how much that energy gives you that little positive push to your mind becoming creative. But this is what happens when we learn to use our energy in our body to reach our heart center, to create, to reach into our mind and create thoughts, to be able to reach that other, like more higher vibration, constantly working on that positive mindset, reprogramming our mind. So when something difficult in life happens and you have a challenge, you have two options. You go to your negative mindset, which is just like, oh, this is happening to me and we become a victim. 
or we train our mind and we work. The, the first thing I do after working for years on this, when something happens and the shit hits the fan and things get ugly, the first thing I think is, mm, what might happen? What could be coming? What could be the positive result of this situation? And maybe the only thing is that I learned something and I became stronger. Or maybe hundreds of amazing things end up happening because I went through that difficult challenge. And I've trained myself that every time I'm in a difficult situation and things really suck and I don't know what to do, look and think and watch. It's almost now like it's like the lottery. Oh, something challenging is happening. So what's going to happen? What's coming? What's coming down the, the life tunnel towards me as a result of this, you know, big bump in the road of my, of my life path here? I'm going to have this big bump in the road and then I'm going to have this nice downhill ride and when is that downhill ride coming and I watch for it and I enjoy it and I say to the universe bring it on and I've trained myself to see the positive mindset in everything in everything the most difficult challenges and it doesn't mean that sometimes the challenges are so heavy and strong that you do you do get pulled over and you do fall on the side of the road and you lay in the ditch for a while but you manage to pull yourself back out and each time you pull yourself out of that you know emotional negative vibe ditch you find it a little easier to get out and get back on your path and keep going so for stopping to think too much or stopping stopping this constant mental chatter this this almost headache brain brain you know mental garbage happening in our minds it takes two things. I think one is recognizing that we are in a little bit of a negative vibe kind of thing, that we're sort of vibing on a ruminating kind of, we're not consciously thinking. And the minute you pick up on that, you can ask yourself one really important question. Do I want to allow my body and my mind to be the recipient of, of, this, of these fleas or of this virus, of this mental negative um, thought pattern or thought process and the minute you ask yourself that question in most people their answer would be absolutely not so you stop you say wow i'm just thinking all this crap all this garbage and then ask yourself okay what could i start to motivate myself on and usually what i do is i end up putting on my mentors i usually start watching videos and I think this is what has inspired me to start making these videos for everyone. Um, because it's been a long, a long lot of years that I've been studying, working, working on myself, going through this process to see how I can change and become more positive and more abundant and create and have my life mission and serve and give back. And my way of giving back is by getting inspired by all these tidbits of incredible information and then creating um, a little bit maybe more of a practical video of how you can apply this, these teachings because we normal people <laughs> who haven't gone through a major spiritual awakening process have had to go through the, the dark night of the soul and we've had to go through the, the difficult abusive situations and the family patterns from our ancestors and our parents in our life and our relationships and friends and business experiences and all of those things have, have come together in this perfect synchronicity to create who we are in this moment. And as we go forward with this process and we tweak it and we learn and we work with it, we become closer and closer to being this higher self descended into a human animal body. And Remember that the mindset also, when you're in the more animal brain, which is like the survival mode brain, is more likely to tend to go to the negative ruminating thoughts when you are afraid of how you're going to survive and afraid of reactions of people and afraid of how um, you know people are going to react or whether you're going to be loved or not and um, whether you're going to be left alone and all of those issues that come up for human survival. And when those issues come up, that's where we have to remember and i had a comment on one of my videos and someone said you lost me when you said use the word faith 
And I thought, isn't that interesting? You know, there's a lot of things that detonate my beliefs, my belief systems about spirituality and, and religion. And, you know, because there's been so many difficult situations and control of people um, through religious groups and all of these kind of things happening within families. And, but I think it doesn't necessarily, the word faith doesn't necessarily speak just to um, people who have a more religious, spiritual, um, you know, I can I can either be religious God, I believe in God and the universe, or I can be I believe in the universal love, I believe in the universe in general as a metaphysical scientific uh, synergy of energy, and I don't need to define or have a belief system when it comes to my faith. My faith can just simply be my faith in the fact that I know and I've proven to myself in my life that if I have faith in the process, in the synchronicity, in the way everything comes together in a perfect, you know, every molecule of life is coming together in this original, just like you were created as an original human being. There's no one else who was born at the same frequency, at the same moment, in the same place that you were, and that creates each person as a totally different miracle, miracle life being. And when you connect with the faith of that, then those difficult moments those negative thoughts start becoming a little bit easier and easier to overcome. And yes, I do think that life as you're going forward becomes more and more difficult and can be extremely challenging. And as it is challenging, we have to strengthen our energy more and more. And as we strengthen our energy more and more, then things that would have bothered us five years ago don't even affect us. You know, I went downstairs, the huge thing of soup that we had made for everyone, it had gone bad because someone forgot to boil it last night and the whole pot of soup had gone bad and you know a couple people were really like oh i'm just so you know pissed at the soup you know i can't believe it forgot and i'm just like it's a pot of soup you know what yeah we don't like to waste food and, and blah 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 but it's already it's already wasted it's already gone and so let's just focus our energy on tomorrow making sure that we put it away in the fridge and it gets looked after and I didn't even I didn't feel upset I didn't feel angry it didn't bother me at all it was just like oh how the soup went bad you know uh, someone stole a bottle of uh, one of the big bottles of coca-cola from the fridge downstairs we don't know who took it like I'm not gonna lose my high vibrational inspire stop doing the videos today because oh my god someone stole a bottle of coke and the soup went bad. You know, now, now that doesn't even, you know, it doesn't affect me at all. And yet, five years ago, maybe ten, so hard to say exactly when. But at some point in working with this, you know, I stopped crying over spilled milk and I stopped worrying about, you know, we get a really bad comment from a guest at the hotel and they publish it right online. <laughs> it just devastated me in the beginning. Now it's like, okay, well, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad, and some people make comments, and some people don't even like the jungle or, or the nature situation, and then, oh my god, they found a scorpion in the room, and they got up on the bed, and they were screaming, and they asked for a refund. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm not making this up. And, you know, it is what it is, and you do the best you can with it, and some days there'll be people that complain, and they don't like what you do, and you do your best. And it doesn't matter, you just don't let it bother you. You just take, you know, the day one day at a time, you take the punches as they come, and you just keep working with your mindset. You just keep working to create more positive thoughts. You just keep working to stop that ruminating, thinking, animal brain that starts worrying. You start worrying. Why do you start worrying? Because you've lost your faith in the miracle that you are as a human being. You've lost your faith that you're always going to be looked after. Even in the worst situations, yes, we'll have really difficult things happen and, you know, all kinds of stuff happens in our lives. But we're always okay. We're always okay. We're always looked after. Somehow or other, something happens, someone comes along and things work out. And even though sometimes we go through really horrible, traumatic experiences, even those experiences that happen are for our highest good. It's just really hard to see sometimes the pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow. Yeah. 
So when it comes to when it comes to negative thoughts, I think that's where we can really make some ground with our with our energy in our body. And this is my take on, you know, I've been looking through the videos of Eckhart Tolle and I keep seeing different videos come up, you know, stop thinking and, you know, stop ruminating and, and you know, changing your mindset, reprogramming your mind, controlling your mind. And it really does come down to those two things. It's that animal mind and the creative mind. And you say to your animal mind, thank you for looking out for me. But you can take a break right now. I've already thought everything I could about how I could fix this situation, so why don't you let my spiritual connection mind have a chance to go at it? And then you go in and you do a meditation like the one I'm going to do now, after thinking about all this and sharing my thoughts on the videos. And I will, I will add a few clips. I just love the clips of Eckhart Tolle where he's talking about the virus, <laughs> the virus and the, the mind, um, the thoughts becoming a virus. And, and then I thought of, of that, you know, that um, negative thoughts are like fleas and positive thoughts are like butterflies, you know. It's really easy to reproduce fleas and it's a lot harder to reproduce beautiful butterflies, but if you do it, the result is amazing. The result is so beautiful. And I think that's what we have to do with our mind. So join me on this meditation. I'm going to try to publish the videos that I'm talking about these things first and then publish that the meditation after. If watching the video helps you get into the mindset and inspires you to sit down and do the meditation with me, I'm just doing the meditations in a natural way. Um, with me, you're not going to see any bells and whistles and I'm not chiming anything. And, you know, I'm not, um, I think if I try to sit in the lotus position, I'd probably break my knees. <laughs> um, so I just sit in a chair or, you know, sometimes I meditate laying down where I feel the most comfortable. And you don't need any of those um, if you have a pattern that helps you, then it's good to, you know, chime a bell or, or do something that helps you get into that state of consciousness. But um, just follow along and hopefully this is helping someone out there. That's why I'm doing it. Hopefully, if, I'm, if this is helping me to watch and to focus and to do this every day and to study my own spiritual path, hopefully this will help other people as well. So if you like this video and you watch till the end, and they'll get better and better as I practice, um, I'll be more focused and um, let me do a few hundred of them and, and I'll get really good at it. <laughs> but if you like it, um, subscribe please and um, watch the meditation video. I feel a little discouraged because the meditation videos are lagging, lagging a little behind and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm going to keep doing them because I made a commitment to do the seven day challenge. And then if I see that there's a little more interest in the meditation videos, I'll keep doing them. I'll keep sharing my, my daily meditations with everyone. I'm thinking maybe I have to do it in a live or something like that to, to get it going. But I'm here. If anyone needs any help, send me a message. And I would love to do a video and answer questions or help anyone out that needs a little inspiration. That's why I'm doing this. I decided to serve in this way to help others. So here I am if you need me.